what's going on? What's uh, what's the first couple days been like? I mean, you, you probably get a lot out. I mean, you get a lot out of the summer, obviously. What's the first couple days been like? Uh, it's been good. The guys, they have a great attitude. Um, I think they got a good foundation here. And I think we start this spring. And I think just carry it over into the summer. Um, the first two days, the guys have a bunch of excitement. They've been energetic. They've been open to listening, want to get better, want to learn. So, that first two days, man, uh, I'm very pleased with the first two days. Well, you see them come out yesterday and start getting chicken off the rust or whatever, and then today, a lot of turnover from that secondary. What's it tell you as a coach? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just, hey, every day we try to get better. We kind of got a motto in our room that every day we want to better. And I think today, we kind of get back in the Google thing, the second day of practice, get their feedback wet, and you saw the guys make plays. Uh, the biggest thing, want those guys to come out and feel confident that they feel good with the system, they know what's going on, they can put their feet in the ground and play fast. And the biggest thing is pre snap communication. Make sure you see the alignments of receivers, the running back, the whole line, the tennis is cut, split, and wide out. Make sure those guys communicate. We always say a loud room is a confident room. When you're loud and you're confident, you know what you're talking about, you can make plays. Most importantly, you get a chance to put this team to a better on defense. We got this philosophy, man. Hey, iron sharp and iron. You know, we got philosophies that it don't matter who's out there, uh, the job got to get done. And it's old saying that as your names may change, the standard, it just stays the same. So I know uh, Contreras Clark left, went to the NFL, is the next man up. The next guy coming, the next man up. And we just want to preach that brotherhood. Because at the end of the table, man, this defense is a fun defense to play in. I love playing the coach this defense, Coach Hagen. Which has developed, it's fun, it's contact friendly, there's enough food on the table for everybody. You just got to do your job. There's enough plays for everybody to make. But the most important thing, you got to communicate, do your job, and you got a chance to make a play, make a play. But competition, that's where it starts, man. The competition makes us better. When you say it's quarterback friendly, how do you think the system helps you? Uh, it just it gives you vision, it gives you flexibility. We do a lot of things defensively. We just don't play one or two things, uh, you know. But guys have to study. They have to get in the, the minutia of the playbook to understand the tendencies, understand the nuances. They have to look in every nook and cranny to figure out what I need to be at at this, this certain spot, this certain time. If they do that, you'll see what happens today. Some big plays, she'll be going for the Cardinals. Coming to our question, you're scoring off of that. How do you feel like the system plays the strengths of the guys that you currently have, and how well do you feel like they've acclimated from you know the beginning of spring till now? Uh, the biggest thing, they just feel each other. And, and I think the great thing about being here is, man, we got a, a really good video staff. Uh, we can get video from a, a, a lot more places to show guys different techniques, different things, NFL teams, XFL, we show a lot of stuff. And, and when they get a chance to see those guys make plays, and they get a chance to see yesterday, who had our hand at least six or seven balls yesterday just to come down with them. And so put emphasis on, hey, this is a tape. These are the plays that we got an opportunity to make. Because you're doing your job. Now you just got to take that next step and make those plays. And I think you saw today those guys made a couple plays. And the two part question, the second part was what now? Just how about the, the strengths and then how are they acclimated? Like how do you think the system plays with their strengths? Uh, I, I think it plays good because you look at the system beforehand, the guys before the system make plays, and they get a chance to watch tape on the guys that been in this system make plays. And, and man, I think it's defense back friendly. You know, it's your job to make the play. We will try to go out and bitch up and stand and put those guys in those positions. And hopefully you can you feel that trust. When you watch that game tape and you watch practice film, it, it don't seem like it's 11 guys. It's like it's 13 or 14 guys on this vibe that you go around. And that's what you feel when those guys feel that trust, they feel that accountability, and they feel that bubble. Jarvis said that he thinks that this has a chance to not only be one of the best secondaries in the ACC, but potentially one of the best in all of college football. Is, is that something you agree with based on what you've seen so far this uh, I think, you know, our job is to come out here every day is what, uh, Wednesday? Our job is to come out Thursday, ready to roll. Um, and, and everything goes stick for itself. But our goal, I, I, I love the Alpha Mills of him, and uh, I like him to set high goals. But our job is to get built every day. And right now, we're not focusing on that. We're focusing on one thing. How can we build a Thursday, then we will Wednesday? That's our